So the question was, is it common for people to not ask about pricing when they book? I have quite a few people that go to my website, book, and never ask for pricing. So far, when I let them know their dog is done and their total, no one has said anything. Knock on wood. Ha ha ha. So this is a super common question that I get either in group mentoring or I get, you know, during the virtual happy hours, which by the way, are generally the last Friday of the month, unless if there's five, and then I take the fifth one off. But anyway, so what's awesome about this comment is it brings up a lot of questions, right? Do you have your pricing on your website? Is your soulmate client, the kind of client that you're pricing is your least interesting thing, right? Our goal for our soulmate clients really should be, are there the, the least interesting thing about you is your pricing. And if that's the case, you've sold them on so much more. And sometimes we get nervous, right? So if you're going to a nicer restaurant, they often don't have prices with the food, right? So if you've ever gone to like a nice restaurant and you look at the menu, right? If you're like me and you grew up kind of, you know, I don't want to say poor, let's say lower middle class, you know, we didn't have a pool. We just put a tarp in the back of my dad's truck, you know? So the first thing I look at is the price. And I think that it's really interesting that as I've gotten more financially abundant, I don't focus so much at the price, right? Same thing when I'm having a cocktail. Like I know I want a French 75. I know I want, um, you know, something yummy. And I don't care if it's $3, $10. And in where I live, sometimes it's up to $20 for a drink. So it really comes down to a few factors. One is your pricing on your website and they already know what it's going to be, right? Or they have kind of an ish, Right. Is it a situation where your client, your soulmate client, and these might be your soulmate clients, don't care about price? It's the least interesting thing about you. So they don't really care. And then another question I have for you is why are you caring? Are you trying to avoid conflict? Um, are you afraid that someone's going to give you a bad review? You know, what is the question that you're having in your mind, right? Um, especially with the knock on wood comment, whenever we say that it's, you know, generally something that we're afraid something's going to happen. So for, if this person was like, I'm really afraid of conflict, then I might ask the question when they're booking, if my pricing's on the website, I would say something like, Hey, if you're curious about, you know, the general pricing, all pets are, you know, priced individually based on their time, care and attention. But if you're looking for, um, you know, a general estimate, I would go ahead and look at my website, you know, and I used to do that all the time. I did not want to have the phone, the price phone conversation. So I would tell them that all my pricing is on my website. Um, and that, you know, obviously until we see the pet, but another thing is too, is to have a consultation room that is a set flat fee. That is the highest fee. Um, and you can always say that, you know, this is our consultation. And then if you want to give a discount, you can always give a discount or give them money towards a second appointment. Um, but I don't think it's a bad idea to just simply ask, you know, would you like an estimate, right? And that gives you the opportunity, right, to open that door, right, if you're, you know, and again, um, or you can put on when they're having this conversation, you can just have on the rebooking or the appointment reminder, you can just say estimates available upon request, right? Again, it really depends upon how you price. If you're pricing, you know, we highly suggest here at the Savvy Groomer that you really don't have more than about nine price points, right? So you have three main services, right? So three main services and then three price points for those services. She's saying, hey, I hate having the over the phone conversation. We sent an onboarding email with an estimate of a three to four week or a five to six week services. So I will say Emily is one of my students and I know she's done a lot of work on this. So I will say if you're, you're fresh and new to Savvy Groomer, you might be like, oh man, that's pretty ballsy. But Emily has done the work. She's made sure our pricing is accordingly. We've really simplified her pricing. And I think this is a great strategy. I love that she's doing this. Um, because it will help where she is, right? And one of one pricing strategy, and again, we teach you a bunch of different pricing strategies in the Price Increase Masterclass. One of these strategies really is that, you know, charging more per week, right? So there's so many factors that go into this, but I kind of want to give a little blurb. 
she's saying the issue I run into is puppy pricing. I just like charging adult prices for a nice puppy, you know, face feet Sammy, because that's a very nuanced conversation, right? There's so much involved in that, like your business model. Are you training the puppy to be behaving on the table? You know, how often are you requiring puppies to come in? What is a puppy? What is a face feet Sammy? You know, there's so much around that. Yep. So Facebook user said price quote is given with deposit request based on coat and condition, unless the owner has mentioned a new client form that there's some clumping or nodding. And that's, you know, again, it depends on how you charge, right? Um, we teach the point system and it's really hard, especially now with all these mixed breed dogs to give a better, you know, estimation, right? Because if I have five doodles, you know, of varying different coat types and size types, et cetera, um, unless you're really simplifying it down. But I agree. I think that there's so much more that we can do to simplify our businesses. And I think this is, if this works for you, this is great. 